the science I represent and I do all my scientific career is has a specific uh, birth date. Uh, this, I mean, molecular biology. The birth date is uh, April 25th, 1953, when Watson and Crick published the famous paper in Nature uh, about the double helix. And since uh, this happened, uh, the molecular biologists start growing. And uh, uh, I am most interested in physical and mathematical aspects of uh, molecular biology. Jim Watson was a disciple of uh, Max Delbruck. Max Delbruck uh, was a physicist uh, in Germany uh, in 1930s who be beca uh, became interested in uh, biology and he actually he actually gained a lot from Russian um, geneticist uh, Timofey Frisovsky and uh, he moved in to uh, United States in 1937 and uh, uh, found so-called uh, phage group who actually which became instrumental in uh, uh, new biology and uh, one of his uh, students there was Jim Watson who moved to Cambridge and met uh, Francis Crick and they together discovered the double helix. What is interesting is that in uh, uh, less than uh, 10 years after uh, molecular biology started, in 1962, uh, Max Delbruck uh, made a talk on mathematical conference, which was published. And in this, his uh, talk, he uh, presented the concept of knots in polymers, not, not in DNA at that time. He just talked about long molecules. He, he said that uh, we now know that biology is based on long molecules. And that if there are long molecules, they may be circularized. They may form circle. And if molecule forms circle, the circle may be knotted. It may form knot. It was totally abstract. Uh, idea. He said, I don't know whether it is interesting for bi uh, mathematicians, whether it is interesting from biological viewpoint. I don't know. I just think that it is, it is, it is makes sense to raise this question. And by, I even don't remember how it happened, but uh, in uh, ten, less, ten, 10 years later, uh, I and my uh, students uh, actually became interested in this. And uh, in these 10 years, if, if you, you can now uh, trace everything about citation, and it, it, for this first 10 years, Delbruck publication, the first it was published in obscure proceedings of mathematical conference, and it was cited one time during this 10 years period. And we were the second who cited it later on when we published our paper. And so we actually became very interested, again, just out of curiosity, but already uh, by that time, what is important, it was known when we became interested in this, that DNA could be circular. And uh, actually circle DNA was discovered a year after uh, Delbruck publication, but totally in, uh, without any relation to it. So we already knew that DNA can be circular, and so we were interested in uh, knots in, in polymers and in DNA. Um, and because we already worked uh, with DNA, first of all, we were interested in DNA uh, knots. And so we uh, 
used a very sophisticated mathematical uh, 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 branch of mathematics, topology, which actually studies such things as knots. Uh, and uh, mathematician, uh, mathematicians, they, they developed method to, which allowed to discriminate uh, the circle without knot and circle which forms knot. And uh, this uh, allowed us to uh, develop a computer algorithm to distinguish between knots and unknots in um, uh, chains when they are become circular. And so uh, we were the first who uh, determined the probability of uh, knot formation in circular polymeric chain when this chain is formed randomly. And what we found, we, we published this uh, first in uh, a Russian physical journal, ZETF, then we published it in 1975, we published it in Nature. And um, uh, in this paper, we uh, uh, speculated that, first of all, our data, our cal calculation showed that uh, when DNA penetrates the cell, say phage lambda DNA, which is known, uh, by, was known by the time that when phage lambda DNA penetrates the cell, it circularizes. It is linear within the phage particle, but then it penetrates the cell. It be, first thing first, it becomes circular. And when it becomes circular, if it is random, process, then we predicted, according to our calculations, that it must be uh, about 50% uh, probability that it will be knotted. But if molecule, double-stranded DNA molecule is knotted, it cannot be replicated. Because if you replicate knot, you cannot separate daughter strands. Daughter strands become uh, uh, linked to each other. So, and uh, there was absolutely no uh, experimental indications that uh, phage lambda has any problems in replicating itself when it penetrates the cell. So we assume that there must be some mechanism in the cell to uh, untie knots. And uh, it actually uh, led to very, very exciting uh, chain of events. That special class, when people start studying this, uh, uh, formation of knots in DNA and how, how, how what happens with them, they found that there is a special uh, class of enzyme, which are, were called topa isomerases, which exist in the cell and their role is to change DNA topology. And uh, later on, already in, in, in 1990s, uh, my uh, former student, uh, Alex Vologodsky, who now is uh, in, in NYU, New York University, and uh, Valentin Ribinkov, uh, who is now in uh, uh, Oklahoma, uh, they uh, discovered that uh, this topa is emerases. They anti not they, they not only uh, like normally enzyme, they put the system into equilibrium. So everybody expected that when topoisomerase is, which can change DNA topology when it uh, uh, is applied to DNA, it will produce equilibrium uh, uh, fraction of knotted molecule, the same fraction that we calculated in our theoretical simulation. But they found that Actually, they, uh, they just untie on practically all knots. So it is not like enzyme uh, put system to equilibrium. It works like molecular motor, and they, they are molecular motors because they consume uh, energy of ATP, and they untie knots. And it was a mystery because how can 
enzyme know that molecule is not it is enzyme is much smaller than the total DNA molecule it's large as compared to how looking locally you can say whether this uh, 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 molecule you consider locally is not it or not because it is global characteristic so uh, Alex Wologodsky actually suggested that uh, uh, using uh, sophisticated computer simulation of the process, he speculated that uh, this uh, topoisomerase make from DNA such very sharp band. And the, when they, uh, how, how topoisomerase in principle change topology? What, what happens? It takes uh, the, there is double stranded DNA, imagine here, it's double stranded DNA, and then enzyme uh, binds to it, it cut both strands, separates them, and then push the other part of molecule through the gap, and then reseals the gap. So this, this is how enzyme changes topology of DNA. And it, it may in anti knots by this case. But question is how it is uh, uh, accomplished and this is uh, according to his hypothesis was that if it forms very very sharp band and this um, uh, 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 process can happen only if the other part of the molecule goes through this sharp band then according to his calculation it's very difficult to uh, 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 envision this but according to this calculation it lead it will lead to untie of the knots and uh, to his great satisfaction, it was uh, published later a uh, paper in Nature about the structure of the complex of topoisomerase with uh, 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 DNA. And they found by X-ray crystallography that really it forms such very, very sharp band. Most interesting point about uh, uh, DNA topology is that this enzyme, DNA topoisomerase, which were discovered because of this curiosity of scientists who wanted to figure out whether knots are possible, whether they're tight or untight, they proved to be extremely important because, uh, from a medical viewpoint, because actually a very a huge number of uh, hemotherapeutic drugs are actually working on the level of topoisomerase. They, they interfere. Topoisomerase, when it cuts DNA and then reseals DNA, it is very uh, vulnerable part of cellular machinery because if you cut DNA, if do not reseal it, then you have double-stranded break. Double-stranded break is actually absolutely lethal for, for, for the cell. So if uh, drugs interfere into this process and do not allow the top isomerase and uh, finish its job, it, it cut DNA but cannot reseal the, the, this, uh, uh, this uh, double-strand break, then cell is killed. So it appeared that this uh, many hemotherapeutic uh, drugs which were discovered empirically, they actually work on the level of uh, topoisomerases, uh, uh, preventing them to do uh, their job properly, and that's why they kill uh, cancer cells. They kill, first of all, cancer, they kill, of course, any cells, because this is why uh, uh, hemotherapy is uh, so painful, but of course they kill predominantly cancer cell because just they they uh, pr proliferate more more I intensely than normal cells. So they are more 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 vulnerable to any drugs which interfere into uh, uh, pr uh, normal um, uh, cell division. But what is very interesting is that now. This, uh, very recently, it was discovered that not only DNA can be circled, but RNA can be circled. This, this is, the, the huge class of RNA was discovered, which are circled. We still don't know whether they form knots. I ask people who do this, uh, did you try to f look whether they are knotted or not? They are too busy with uh, uh, 
uh, doing more basic stuff is it because it's just absolutely new discovery several groups discovered that uh, uh, not new form of RNA exists, circular RNA, and they probably play a very important role. Why RNA? Why DNA is circular? We understand. In principle, we well understand why DNA is circular. Uh, why it is? It is very huge advantage for it uh, being circular. We don't understand clearly why RNA. One advantage for RNA be circular is that when you don't have ends, you, is, is special enzymes which are very abundant in the cell, exonucleases cannot digest it. So it is more stable in the cell. Maybe it is the reason why, why it is uh, circular. But question I ask is uh, maybe there is topology uh, for not uh, noting and and linking between different circle RNA and then maybe there are RNA topo isomerases which w uh, is analogous to DNA topo isomerase maybe it is sp a special class of enzyme exists and then uh, if RNA topo isomerase is the same maybe also maybe very very important